All right, guys. What's going on? Now, I don't know what to call this, so I'm not calling it anything. This is not a beer review. This is not a foul beer review. And I don't even know if I can call this a swollen video. This is just Genesee Ice. Because what we have today is a 24-ounce can of Genesee Ice of unknown age. That's right. That's why I don't want to give this any kind of like legitimate review and I don't even want to call this a foul beer review because I don't know how old this can is. I suspect it may be fucking old. I'll give you the quick rundown here. I've been living in my current location in Hollywood, Florida for two and a half years now, a little over two and a half years. Within the first six months of moving here, I found this beer. I'm not completely sure where I found it, uh, but I think it was the Marathon on Johnson. And two years ago, I did a video, I did a review on this beer. <clears throat> now, I never uploaded that video because I didn't like how it came out. I left it on my computer and it's sitting right now in a file called Hoggy's Unreleased Videos. Um, and yeah, it's one of those things. I didn't see it anywhere else. I had only seen it in the one place. I had picked it up that one time and that was it. Well, about six months ago, I stopped at the Marathon on Johnson which I don't really go there because it's kind of a crappier gas station and I avoid those, especially when there's a nice Chevron right next to it for the same price. So I never go to the marathon. And I popped in one day, and here's the thing guys, anytime you pop into a supermarket, quickie mart, or gas station, no matter what you're doing there, go to the beer cooler, check it out. You never know what you might find. So I popped in there to put gas in the wife's car one day and I saw these and I picked one up. And I had it sitting on the shelf, and this was months ago, and one day, I, you know, I had been drinking, and I ran out of beer, and I had nothing else, and I didn't want to go anywhere, so I just drank the room temp Genesee ice that had been sitting there. So after that, I said, shit, I need to go back and pick up another Genesee ice so I can do a legit video on it one day. And again, a while later, I'm at that gas station again, and I go in there, and I see Genesee ice. I said, shit, I got to grab it, and I grab it out of the cooler, and it was the last one they had. Behind this were nothing but 24 ounce modelos. So I said, shit, this may be the last one. And I had a feeling it had been sitting there for a while because it was all covered in dust and crud and nasty shit. So part of me thinks that these bitches have been sitting there for over two years since I found the first one. I don't know, but I don't see these anywhere else. I don't think they sell good. I honestly think that this bitch is several years old. Now, I did contact 40 Ounce Fear because I know he knows Genesee. He loves Genesee beers, drinks Genesee cream ale all the fucking time. So I hit him up to try to get some info on the date code on the bottom of this can, and even he can't decipher freaking date code. So I am clueless to how old this thing is, but I will not give it any kind of fair review or even kind of like a, a, a scumbag evaluation because this just may be fucking old as shit. So I'm just doing this video for fun. This is an old ass can of Genesee Ice. Um, so without any further ado, there's no glass, there's no fancy shit, there's no music, there's no special presentation. This is just Genesee motherfucking ice. 24 ounces, 5.5% alcohol by volume. From Genesee Brewing Company, Rochester, New York. Smells like a corn beer. Better smelling like a corn beer than a cornhole. Cheers, you fucks. Ah. All right. Usually beers that are expired, that are past due, kind of have a cidery taste. I've even found that in like craft beers that are infected, like the yeast kind of goes bad or whatever. You do kind of get this, this cidery, fruity, kind of like a sour apple, lemony, kind of sour, nasty, cidery kind of thing going on. This does not have that going on. That's a good thing. And it is cold. It's also a good thing. It does kind of have that that uh, freezer burn kind of aftertaste that some of the ice beers do have. 
It also tastes like a standard, you know, corn, corn-based adjunct American cheapo lager, which is, you know, and it's a shame too because Genesee beers are available in South Florida, somewhat. You know, Genesee is kind of like Yingling. It's this, it's this local kind of regional, eastern seaboard, you know, northeast kind of uh, American brewery that has a long tradition and a good following. People up and down the eastern seaboard love Yingling, and people, especially people from the, the upper northeast, the New York, Pennsylvania area, around that, them parts, they love some Genesee. Yingling down here is available every fucking place. Genesee, on the other hand, the Genesee Cream Ale I've only seen available in 12 packs in select stores and places where you find a lot of snowbirds, you know, people who live up north and come spend the, the winters down here in South Florida. So Genesee Cream Ale is available but in random spots. This I've only seen obviously in the one spot, like I already told you. And Dog Bite High Gravity Lager I only saw in one fucking store. And for those of you who don't know, Dog Bite is made by Genesee. So it's funny, Genesee gets down here, but they have such kind of limited random distribution. And it's a shame because the cream ale, Genesee cream ale is, for a, for a base American adjunct lager, it's a damn good fucking beer. <clears throat> Honestly, if I had to have my pick, like, you know, if I had no choice really, but uh, if it was between like Bud, Miller, Coors, and Yingling, and Genesee, I'm going with Genesee cream all the fucking way. I like it. Smooth, good, tasty, but not available. Just like this, oddball as fuck. <sighs> For those of you who haven't seen them and who don't know, um, what's my time on this fucking video? Holy shit. For those of you who don't know, I have reviewed both Denny Cream Ale and Dog Bite. When it was 10%, I heard they lowered it to 8% or whatever. But I have reviewed both of those uh, on my channel. Search through my channel, maybe if I remember. Uh, when I crawl out of my drunken stupor later, I'll put the links down there and, and let you guys have easy access to those videos. Uh, the Jenny Cream Ale I actually reviewed like in 2010 when I was living up at Vero Beach. I bought a 12 pack of this shit. Good stuff. Good stuff. Beach, in kind of the touristy central area off of Miracle Mile, there was an ABC, Fine Wine and Spirits, where a lot of old, lush snowbirds went to go buy their uh, cases of uh, beer and, and whiskey and wine and shit, uh, and I found the Jenny Cream there, and it just hit me now that uh, coincidentally, a couple years later, or a year or so later, I find the Dog Bite High Gravity Lager also in an ABC Fine Wine and Spirits in Pembroke Pines. Back when it was 10%, 24-ounce can, 10% uh, by High Gravity Lager. I reviewed that one sitting outside, I believe. And the sprinklers came on and fucked up my video. Fucking sprinklers. So there's that. Uh, yeah. Fuck, man. I mean, I really want to kill this on camera. We're approaching 10 minutes as it is. Fuck, I already got too much beer in my goddamn gut, man. This is going to be tough. And this, well, well, it doesn't taste horrendous. As far as ice beers go, this is very tame. The frostbite taste is, is not that bad. The corn taste is not that bad. You know, generally speaking, for a beer, it's... Not that bad, not great, not spectacular, not something I want to have again, but not that bad. But, I don't know. I don't know, since 1878, Genesee Ice. Genesee Brewing Company, Rochester, New York, beer. Ice brewed, 5.5% alcohol by a volume. Um, according to the Surgeon General, no, I'm not going to read that. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what else to say. I. Uh, I wish I had more space in my gut and I could drink this quicker. <coughs> that helps. Rugby! It's 
sometimes I wonder what people who don't watch that many drinking videos on YouTube must think when a guy burps and screams out rugby. They don't know that rugby is a person. They don't know the history and the backstory to, to rugby and the burps. I don't know if they, they think maybe we're talking about, you know, like rugby fucking, you know, football or the, the actual sport or something. I don't know. That's a funny thing. Rugby's a mysterious motherfucker, but he's, he's not a negative cat. He's not a negative cat, so I, I, I'll keep shouting out rugby on occasion until one day he shows himself and we figure out what the fuck his deal is, but whatever. Uh, for those who know, you know, for those that don't, oh well. Yeah, uh, Genesee Ice, Genesee Ice. What can I say about Genesee Ice? Uh, Genesee Ice. What can I say about Genesee Ice? Um, I don't know what I can say about Genesee Ice, but I can say that my camera and my SD card fucking suck. Shit died with no warning. I guess my SD card was full, so I had to pop in another one. I was probably uh, just, you know, talking to myself in a room with the camera off for about a minute or so. What I was saying was that Genesee Ice, where does Genesee Ice fit in the scope of things in South Florida? I do not know. Uh, we have, our selection here is limited. When the camera died, I had brought out these uh, other cans. Ice House, 24 ounce, 5.5%. It's a reserve high gravity, 24 ounce, 3.1%. And where does this guy kind of fit in? You know what I mean? And honestly, I think if I had a fresh Genesee Ice and a fresh Ice House, and I did a head-to-head, because -head, they're both ice beers, 5.5%. It's a toss-up, man. I really don't know which one would win. Um, but at the same time, they're only 5.5%. I could buy a quart. Where's my fresh quart? You see the fresh quart here? I could buy a quart of Swiss Malt Liquor, or Colt 45, or Mickey's, or Old E, and they're all 5.9% alcohol by volume. So why do I need a 24-ounce can of 5.5%? I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't know where it fits in, and maybe that's why it's not available in a lot of places. This is turning into a long, rambly fucking video. So fucking be it, let me try to kill this and be gone. Lord knows my SD card got tired of the shit and turned off on me. Fucking bastard. <sighs> but it is what it is. Once again, uh, if anybody out there is from South Florida and knows where the fuck I can find some Jenny uh, cream ham, toilet pack, or whatever, let me know. Did it with the dog bite. I'd like to uh, try the 8% version. They should have left it at 10, but whatever. Yeah, this is turning into kind of a long, drawn out, boring video. I do apologize, but it's Genesee Ice. It may be the last can available in my area. However this video turns out, I have to upload it because it's the last one. Now what I mean, Genesee Ice, man. Ah, fucking Genesee. Fucking local little regional fucking brewery. You know what? I, honestly, I want to travel to the to the, to the northeast, to that, you know, tri-state area and shit. I want to see what they got. I want to drink some of those beers. I want to see what it's like. I want to do it in the summer, and I want to get back down before fucking winter, because I ain't putting up with that fucking snow or that fucking cold. That's why I live in fucking Florida. To all you motherfuckers that live in that tri-state fucking area and that upper northeast and that Pennsylvania, Jersey, New York fucking area and shit, if you like it, that's great. I got nothing against you, no hate, you know, nothing but respect, but you can keep your fucking cold. I'll stay my ass in motherfucking Florida. Feel free to take vacations down here and come to the beaches. But I don't want to hear you fucking complain about the heat and the humidity. Fuck you. 
That's why you came down here. Quick story before I kill the swill on this motherfucker. Um, I work in Fort Lauderdale, and Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale, there's a lot of transplants. There's a lot of people from the upper, you know, northeast, uh, the upper eastern seaboard and shit, who have relocated. A lot of New Yorkers and shit, people from that area, and motherfuckers always come through in the summertime complaining about the fucking heat. And I tell them, you came down here from, like, you know, upstate New York. I got a co-worker from Buffalo, for example. You moved down here in the 80s to escape the snow and the cold and the fucking blizzards. And then you're going to complain about the fucking heat. Make up your fucking mind. You don't like it, take your ass back to fucking Buffalo. Fuck. <coughs> exactly. This is killing me. It's taking too long. But like in the last fucking hour and maybe 15 minutes, I drank a whole lot of other beer. So pouring this on top of this shit is just kind of being painful. I'm not thirsty anymore and it sucks. Anyways, I think I'll kill this and be gone. Genesee, shouts out. I love you, Fluggers. Thanks for fucking staying tuned to the bullshit, through the SD card drama and everything else. Um, Genesee Ice. Even old. It ain't bad. Whoa. <sighs>